What is the difference between PIP and CONDA? I know PIP is a package manager for Python packages. However, I saw the installation on IPython's website use CONDA to install IPython. Can I use PIP to install IPython? Why should I use CONDA as another Python package manager when I already have PIP? What is the difference between PIP and CONDA? Quoting from the Conda blog. Having been involved in the Python world for so long, we are all aware of pip, easy underscore install, and virtual and, but these tools did not meet all of our specific requirements. The main problem is that they are focused around Python, neglecting non-Python library dependencies, such as HDF5, MKL, LLVM, etc which do not have a setup.py in their source code and also do not install files into Python site packages directory. So Conda is a packaging tool and installer that aims to do more than what pip does, handle library dependencies outside of the Python packages as well as the Python packages themselves. Conda also creates a virtual environment, like virtualind does. As such, Conda should be compared to Buildout perhaps, another tool that lets you handle both Python and non-Python installation tasks. Because Conda introduces a new packaging format, you cannot use pip and Conda interchangeably, pip cannot install the Conda package format. You can use the two tools side by side, by installing pip with Conda install pip, but they do not interoperate either. Since writing this answer, Anaconda has published a new page on understanding Conda and PIP, which echoes this as well. This highlights a key difference between Conda and PIP. PIP installs Python packages whereas Conda installs packages which may contain software written in any language. For example, before using PIP, a Python interpreter must be installed via a system package manager or by downloading and running an installer. Conda on the other hand can install Python packages as well as the Python interpreter directly. And further on. Occasionally a package is needed which is not available as a Conda package but is available on PIPI and can be installed with PIP. In these cases, it makes sense to try to use both Conda and PIP. Disclaimer, this answer describes the state of things as it was a decade ago, at that time PIP did not support binary packages. Conda was specifically created to better support building and distributing binary packages, in particular data science libraries with C extensions. For reference, PIP only gained widespread support for portable binary packages with wheels, PIP 1.4 in 2013, and the Meta Linux 1 specification, PIP 8.1 in March 2016. See the more recent answer for more history. Here is a short rundown. PIP Python packages only, compiles everything from source. Edit, PIP now installs binary wheels, if they are available, blessed by the core Python community, i.e., Python 3.4 plus includes code that automatically bootstraps pip. Conda Python agnostic The main focus of existing packages are for Python, and indeed Conda itself is written in Python, but you can also have Conda packages for C libraries, or R packages, or really anything. Installs binaries there is a tool called, Conda Build, that builds packages from source, but, Conda Install itself installs things from already built Conda packages. External Conda is an environment and package manager. It is included in the Anaconda Python distribution provided by Continuum Analytics, now called the Anaconda Incorporated. Conda is an environment manager written in Python and is language agnostic. 
Conda environment management functions cover the functionality provided by Vend, Virtualenv, Py, Pyaf, and other Python-specific package managers. You could use Conda within an existing Python installation by pip installing it, though this is not recommended unless you have a good reason to use an existing installation. As of 2022, Conda and PIP are not fully aware of one another package management activities within a virtual environment, not are they interoperable for Python package management. In both cases, written in Python, open source, Conda is BSD and PIP is MIT. Warning, while Conda itself is open source, the package repositories are hosted by Anaconda Incorporated and the restrictions around commercial usage. The first two bullet points of Conda are really what make it advantageous over PIP for many packages. Since PIP installs from source, it can be painful to install things with it if you are unable to compile the source code, this is especially true on Windows, but it can even be true on Linux if the packages have some difficult C or Fortran library dependencies. Conda installs from binary, meaning that someone, for example, Continuum, has already done the hard work of compiling the package, and so the installation is easy. There are also some differences if you are interested in building your own packages. For instance, PIP is built on top of setup tools, whereas Conda uses its own format, which has some advantages, like being static, and again, Python agnostic. The other answers give a fair description of the details, but I want to highlight some high-level points. PIP is a package manager that facilitates installation, upgrade, and uninstallation of Python packages. It also works with virtual Python environments. Conda is a package manager for any software, installation, upgrade and uninstallation. It also works with virtual system environments. One of the goals with the design of Conda is to facilitate package management for the entire software stack required by users, of which one or more Python versions may only be a small part. This includes low-level libraries, such as linear algebra, compilers, such as Mingguan Windows, editors, version control tools like HG and Git, or whatever else requires distribution and management. For version management, PIP allows you to switch between and manage multiple Python environments. Conda allows you to switch between and manage multiple general purpose environments across which multiple other things can vary in version number, like C libraries, or compilers, or test suites, or database engines and so on. Conda is not Windows-centric but on Windows it is by far the superior solution currently available when complex scientific packages requiring compilation are required to be installed and managed. I want to weep when I think of how much time I have lost trying to compile many of these packages via pip on Windows, or debug failed pip install sessions when compilation was required. As a final point, Continuum Analytics also hosts, free, binstar.org, now called anaconda.org, to allow regular package developers to create their own custom, built, software stacks that their package users will be able to conda install from. Twenty twenty one update. TL, Dr. Use Pip. It's the official package manager since Python 3. Pip. Basics. Pip is the default package manager for Python. Pip is built in as of Python 3.0. Usage, Python 3 invent my app, source my app slash bin slash activate, Python 3 in pip install requests. Packages are downloaded from pippy.org, the official public Python repository. It can install pre-compiled binaries, wheels, when available, or source, tar slash zip archive. 
Compiled binaries are important because many packages are mixed Python slash C slash other with third-party dependencies and complex build chains. They must be distributed as binaries to be ready to use. Advanced. Pip can actually install from any archive, wheel, or git slash svn repo. That can be located on disk, or on a HTTP URL, or a personal PIPI server. PIP install git plus https column slash slash github.com slash psf slash requests dot git v2.25.0 for example, it can be useful for testing patches on a branch. PIP install https column slash slash download dot pytorch dot org slash whl slash cpu slash torch one dot nine dot zero percent two pu cp thirty nine cp thirty nine linux underscore x eighty six underscore sixty four dot whl, that wheel is python three point nine on linux. When installing from source, PIP will automatically build the package. It's not always possible, try building TensorFlow without the Google build system, D. Binary wheels can be Python version specific and OS specific, see Mino Linux specification to maximize portability. Conda You are not permitted to use Anaconda or packages from Anaconda repositories for commercial use, unless you acquire a license. Conda is a third-party package manager from Conda. It's popularized by Anaconda, a Python distribution including most common data science libraries ready to use. You will use Conda when you use Anaconda. Packages are downloaded from the Anaconda repo. It only installs pre-compiled packages. Conda has its own format of packages. It doesn't use wheels. Conda install to install a package. Conda build to build a package. Conda can build the Python interpreter, and other C packages it depends on. That's how an interpreter is built and bundled for Anaconda. Conda allows to install and upgrade the Python interpreter, PIP does not. Advanced. Historically, the selling point of Conda was to support building and installing binary packages, because PIP did not support binary packages very well, until wheels in Minilinux 2010 spec. Emphasis on building packages. Conda has extensive build settings and it stores extensive metadata, to work with dependencies and build chains. Some projects use Conda to initiate complex build systems and generate a wheel, that is published to pipi.org for pip. Easy underscore install slash egg. For historical reference only. Do not use, egg is an abandoned format of package, it was used up to mid-2010s and completely replaced by wheels, and egg is a zip archive, it contains Python source files and or compiled libraries, eggs are used with easy underscore install in the first releases of pip, easy underscore install was yet another package manager, that preceded pip and conda. It was removed in setup tools v58.3, year 2021, it too caused a lot of confusion, just like pip versus conda, d, egg files are slow to load, poorly specified, and os specific. Each egg was set up in a separate directory, and, import my package, would have to look for, my package.py, in potentially hundreds of directories, how many libraries were installed? That was slow and not friendly to the file system cache. Historically, the above three tools were open source and written in Python. However the company behind Conda updated their terms of service in 2020 to prohibit commercial usage, watch out. Fun fact, the only strictly required dependency to build the Python interpreter is lib, a zip library, because compression is necessary to load more packages. Eggs and wheels packages are zip files. 
Why so many options? A good question. Let's delve into the history of Python and computers. Equals D, P. Pure Python packages have always worked fine with any of these packagers. The troubles were with not only Python packages. Most of the code in the world depends on C. That is true for the Python interpreter, that is written in C. That is true for numerous Python packages, that are Python wrappers around C libraries or projects mixing Python slash C C++ code. Anything that involves SSL, compression, GUI, X11 and Windows subsystems, math libraries, KU, CUDA, etc. is typically coupled with some C code. This creates troubles to package and distribute Python libraries because it's not just Python code that can run anywhere. The library must be compiled, compilation requires compilers and system libraries and third-party libraries, then once compiled, the generated binary code only works for the specific system and Python version it was compiled on. Originally, Python could distribute pure Python libraries just fine, but there was little support for distributing binary libraries. In and around 2010 you'd get a lot of errors trying to use NumPy or Cassandra. It downloaded the source and failed to compile, because of missing dependencies. Or it downloaded a pre-built package, maybe an egg at the time, and it crashed with a set fault when used, because it was built for another system. It was a nightmare. This was resolved by Pip and Wheels from 2012 onward. Then wait many years for people to adopt the tools and for the tools to propagate to stable Linux distributions, many developers rely on slash user slash bin slash python. The issues with binary packages extended to the late 2010s. For reference, that's why the first command to run is python 3 mvend myvend and source myvend slash bin slash activate and pip install upgrade pip setup tools on antiquated systems because the OS comes with an old Python plus pip from 5 years ago that's buggy and can't recognize the current package format. Conda worked on their own solution in parallel. Anaconda was specifically meant to make data science libraries easy to use out of the box, data science equals C and C++ everywhere, hence they had to come up with a package manager specifically meant to address building and distributing binary packages, Conda. If you install any package with pip install 30 nowadays, it just works. That's the recommended way to install packages and it's built in in current versions of Python. If you want to see more, please consider subscribing.